Welcome to the Acres of Reed Cajun Turkey. Here's a 12 pound one that we have. This uh, doesn't matter what kind of a turkey is, just be sure it is thoroughly thawed. This one's actually been out of the freezer for over a week. You need to plan ahead. If you really have to speed thaw it, put it under running water, keep the water running and flowing over it, but it's just not recommended. If you leave it out for a good week, you'll give it plenty of time to thaw. The inside has to be thawed, and right now we actually have it where we put it, took it out of the refrigerator hours ago to get it more to room temperature. So you don't take an icy cold bird out and cook it at 325. Your first hour is just going to be taking the chill off and not even starting the cooking process yet. Now we typically do uh, a Cajun style bird. It's just a little bit different. The gravy is a little spicier and it's just uh, real unique and we enjoy it. What we have for this is onion, celery, half a stick of butter. You can see there's a bunch of cracked pepper on top of it. It's actually kind of easier to get the pepper in if you have it on something. We also have measured out a quarter teaspoon of rosemary, an eighth of a teaspoon, which I don't have, so that's half of a quarter teaspoon of thyme, and two teaspoons of cayenne. Of course, there's more black pepper there that we'll add, and olive oil. We're going to actually oil the top of the bird and do a light coat of seasoning on top, fill the cavity with our aromatics and then flip it and we cook it breast side down. We do that because all of the fat on the back side will actually render, kind of become a self basting. It'll just cook all the way down. You don't need to spend extra money for a self basting turkey which is just a whole lot of injected fluids and injected fat basically. Cook it upside down and your breast will be tender and juicy and moist. It's amazing. No, you will not have that picture perfect golden skin on top, but you will have nice crispy golden skin on the backside, which is actually crisper because of all the fat. It kind of deep fries as it cooks. So this is our process. As I've said, all we've done is take the bird. We've cleaned it. I've already just drained the, the blood out. Be sure that your sink is thoroughly cleaned and bleached before you start in case any part of the turkey actually does touch it. Uh, I have both sides cleaned. We cut it open, took all the packaging and throw it, threw it out, cleaned out the neck and the giblets and heart. We're not keeping the giblets this round. We're not using them for any gravy on this one. This is an old turkey. It's been in the freezer for a year now. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. What we've done is just rinse it thoroughly inside and out, clean it. There shouldn't be any smell, there shouldn't be any frost or super cold spots. This is room temperature, as I said, we've had it out for hours now. Uh, the pop-up doesn't really matter, this one has it, I'll leave it in. There's no reason for juices to just pour out of that hole, but it's not going to come into play here. We will actually be cooking this 20 minutes a pound, so four hours for this 12 pounder, at 325 from a room temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and would you get me my oil please? We're gonna give it a little bit of oil on top. Just a nice drizzle of olive oil. And then you'll take that. You wanna get all around and make sure you have a nice coating. Okay, now on the, uh, I'm gonna wash up and we will come right back to season the outside of the bird. All right, I have my assistant camera girl here. What I'm going to do on the outside is just very lightly give it pepper, cayenne, onion, and garlic over um, the whole surface on the outside. So, just want to cover it. We'll do a lot more on the inside of other things, but this is what we want outside. You want to be gentle with the cayenne. You don't want to do too much, but don't be afraid of it either. Remember, it's going to be tinted. This will add a lot of flavor, and all of this will add flavor to your gravy in the end also. And then we go over with the garlic and the onion, just a nice light sprinkle. And at this point, 
we are going to be ready to stuff the cavity. Now, we're not packing it full, we're just loosely putting it in there, just very loosely. It, you don't want it to be stuffed, you don't want it to fill the cavity, that'll add a lot of mass, but you do want to just loosely get your, uh, your ingredients inside. Now, once you get them in there loosely, we get everything, there's butter on my hand so I can kind of clean anything sticking in here will stick to my hand and then the hand goes in. Okay? So, now we just want to loosely be sure it's in the whole cavity. There's a lot of room at the front and it's just going to kind of sit there and hang out. Okay? So there we go. We have our celery, onion, and now we're going to add the seasonings. You want to be sure those go nice and deep in there. You can dump them in, or you can dump them on your hand and then rub them on the inside. However you do it, but get those seasonings in there. And of course we want the two teaspoons of cayenne. And all of this will cook inside, it'll fall out, and then as we remove the bird, these little bits will fall into the pan and actually get poured into our pot for, um, for our gravy, when we do our gravy. Now at this point, it's stuffed, time to flip. And all you're going to do is hang on to it and put it upside down. I'm taking the wing and just pulling it backwards so it's back here go ahead now the same thing on the back side you want to give it a little bit of oil now we're going to do one last round of seasoning you want to crack the pepper this time so we're going to crack pepper just loosely all around And this is a skin that you're going to be able to eat. This will actually get real crispy. Okay, now we need a light garlic and onion. All right. And after that, we'll do a light cayenne. The skin itself will have a bit of heat when you eat. Okay, stop. Light cayenne. Okay, so that is all cayenne, peppered, garlic, onion, and oiled up. Looks great. Everything's ready to go. Now all we have to do is tint it and put it in the oven. All right, we're just flipping our tint over the top. Crimp it down on the sides. You don't need to be a super seal. In fact, one year we made it a super seal and we made a little mini pressure cooker. And it kind of exploded in there. So you want to just tint it, cover it, make sure it's not super sealed. In the oven it goes four hours from now. We'll take it out. Well, we've reached the halfway point. So it is time to flip it. And all you're going to do is flip it this way to that way. You just want to rotate it half a turn. And that's it. All right, the last 15 to 30 minutes, you're going to want to take the tent off, which we have just. Oh, I'm steaming at the lens, which we have just done. And let it get crispy, let it get brown. Looks good smells awesome. Well, the turkey's out. As you can see, it did overcook just a little bit. We split right here. It won't hurt anything. It's still real juicy. You can see how much juice we got out. And all that's going to go into our gravy. We'll get that stirred up right now. 
nice skin you hear the crisp we'll get our gravy stirred up mash our potatoes and serve up so we used our time for the big birds and it's it's actually less minutes for a small bird because they cook faster less mass so there we go stirred do take apart the bird this is the a tip you normally throw away or put in your stocks there's meat in there so we eat them we're just starting to take it off we're going to show just how juicy this is and like i said this did overcook a little so the bones are going to just fall apart we like our skin so we will separate that off okay that's just how good it is right i couldn't wait and the carver's privilege biscuits mm. sure biscuits mmm homemade biscuits take off this easy stuff and then we're gonna flip it over and we'll carve it we've let it rest about 10 minutes now and uh, very little liquid is coming out of it still so oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't save my skin we want to save the skin first because well, we like the skin it's nice and crispy we're going to take skin off and then we'll show that we got our skin off and well we descended upon it and ate the skin it, it doesn't last very long so we're just going to show you this was the top so all the fat goes through it we're just going to show you how juicy this is still you should be able to see it glistening i hope because we are and it is moist even though it overcooked a little it is just hot good and moist so we're going to flip it over and take our breast out as you can see some of the bone just started to fall apart that's okay there will be some liquid from the cavity that's going to come out do it on a surface that cleans easy please there we go and it is just falling apart I mentioned it's juicy look at how moist that is this bird is not going to look like your traditional bird but you see we don't we don't really need the Norman Rockwell we don't take it out and put it on a big table for everybody so let's see how this breast turned out you never know until you start to cut it so this is from the bottom so we're just going to take one little slice off can you see that I hope you can because it looks like there's lots of liquid in there and there is and it is just I'm just touching this and it's just falling apart flaky oh not dry at all if you can't see that it's not dry well Lord says, let your yeas be yeas and your yeas be nays. And I'm telling you, it's a good bird. We're going to eat it up. Be a cloud watcher.